Hi, I'm Dominic on the education team here at Tormach. In this video, we're going to talk about work holdings. So your XS Tech comes with two different style work holdings. This is for a larger piece. This would be something for a smaller piece. I have it set up to show you how you're, it's supposed to lock together on the table. So I've got the nut that goes into the table. I've got the work holding and then this bracket to lock it in place. And then you have the wing nut to go ahead and lock it or tighten it down. They easily slide into the rail. I'll put one side locked onto the piece of material, the other side locked onto the table, and then tighten until it's locked in place. Now, when I'm placing these, I'm gonna look at what I'm milling first to make sure that this is not gonna be in the way of the tooling. So these are plastic, which is nice because if your tooling does run into them, it's not gonna break your tooling. Most of the time, it'll just mill through them. We do offer replacements, but I also wanted to show you how you can create your own work holdings in case this happens, or just to make it easier for whatever situation you have. Sure. So this will be example one. This is our standard tooling that comes with the XS Tech. I'm gonna bring the other side in. We're just gonna slide it in that T-nut. I'm gonna make sure these little brackets hold it in place, and then I'll tighten down. Now I get a lot of questions on which tooth should I hold or lock in place. And it just depends on what the situation is. The higher I come up closer to my material, the more clamping force I'm gonna have on the material. Sometimes I don't have enough space or maybe it's gonna hit my, my spindle. So I'm gonna to need to bring it down a little more. The farther lower I get, the more I'm clamping to the table and less the material. Now, our tools are really sharp and we should be able to uh, withstand the pressures of it moving back and forth. I just wanna make sure that that's not gonna move. Tighten it down pretty tight and we should be good. This is the tooling that comes with the XS Tech. Now, every once in a while, I'll have a situation where I'm gonna to need to profile this stock material. And in which case, these clamps are gonna be in the way. This is another option, and you can see I've kind of milled into this one already, but this is a 3D printed clamping set. I'm gonna have the STL files at the bottom of this video. And this allows for me that as I clamp this to my table, I tighten down these two bolts. As these bolts tighten down, they press up against the material. And now I have clamping forces like a vise up against my machine. So I'll slide the T-nut Again, into the bracket, and slide this one in as well, and just press them up tightly. Now I'm gonna lock them in place. All right, and last thing I'll do is I'll just make sure that this, my stock material is lined up to the table as best I can. Once these parts are tightened down, now I can use the clamping forces And again, as this gets tightened to the, to the other part, it starts pressing out against my material. And now that's not going anywhere. This is a perfect setup if I want to profile the material. And I can always add more shims underneath it if I need to raise up the material to get more height. That's our clamping method. All right, so the next setup, setup I would do is let's say I have a classroom and I'm trying to help the students try to find the same location every time. You can build a second kind of jig where it locks into place on the corner here. And we would tighten this down. And that way I know wherever my part is, I can always put the tooling and it's locked into this corner. Mm -hmm. This is really helpful for if I'm teaching a middle school or beginner, and we're not talking about origins yet, we're just having them lock the part down and doing a really quick printout. It's gonna make sure that it's always in the same location every time. So once I have this corner lined up, I would then use one of my vices to then lock the piece in place. Now we have our locking jig, we have our jig to reference. Now let's talk about production. And this might be great in both a classroom environment or if I'm running a small production out of my XS Tech. So this is a jig that was created for the XS Tech. 
and this is something that I would lock into place on my table. And this way, as I'm milling the part each time, I can just drop my stock in. Maybe I'm engraving here or milling some parts out, but then I would just lock this into place. I don't need to reestablish any of my origins. I don't need to make any changes. Maybe I'll put some washers there, but now this part is always locked into this piece. I would do my milling and then take this out. My finished product, slide another one in, and it's always guaranteed to be at the same spot every time. So this would be an example of a fixture or a fixture jig. So this completes our video on work holdings. Please subscribe for more information and to continue getting videos in this series.